Welcome back. Welcome back. Trying out a new game today. Sweet Transit just came out not too long ago, actually, now. Super excited for this one. Actually got to play the beta and actually really enjoyed it. A little city builder connected with train. I mean, it's, it's cool. It's a logistical, very fun game. So let's just go ahead and hop right into this. Mm, looks like an interesting map here. Might have like clay resources, plenty of town, plenty of space to build maybe a big town right out here. But I don't know. I want something a little more centralized. Let's see if we can get lucky and find something. Don't want too much water. Do know that. Let's bring that down about there. I mean. That's about right, right there. Put a big town right here. Right smack dab in the middle. Or we could build one even down here. I like it. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. <clears throat> Ooh, digging the trees. Right here in the forest. Okay. Wow, actually got some coal and stuff pretty close right there. It's exciting. A lot more coal all the way out here in the corners. I guess it doesn't necessarily matter if we're super, super close or not. But I'm really liking this spot right here to start. And I think we're going to build a warehouse. Or I'm going to build a warehouse. Because the warehouse is really just for like building construction materials. I think we build it. All right here. But this is our build mode. Enter and exit using B. Controls. Okay. Warehouse stores our construction materials for building our upkeep. Make sure goods are delivered here for future building. Warehouses are best built in large areas without mountains or water. Otherwise, you may struggle with them. So if we build our town up this way. Okay. out just fine I like it right there we can always move it just in case now a village hall maybe from here you expand to a single building under the land you're throwing on try building it near the water oh, that's right we are gonna need some fishing aren't we I still think this is a good spot I still think it's a good spot I really like it as a spot We'll build a village hall right here. Give it a go. Workers need the place to rest while they're not on the clock. And the village needs the rest of its house workers. Give them that life outside of work. Okay. Their lives. But it will attract their new inhabitants. Perfect. So our first station will probably be south. So let's plan for that. I like to build my houses in twos. Everybody. Hate for nobody to not have access to the road. Heaven forbid. Oh. We do need some water. Try to get everybody some water coverage. Just about everybody? No, just about everybody. Close. Go ahead and put him on the corner, too. Device connected. Some goods can only be made in the village or city. <coughs> Excuse me. For example, our fishing dock produces fish. People looking for a good bite, of course. We need people to have fish. People gotta eat. People gotta eat. So let's bring that straight out. All production facilities, such as fishing docks, need to store their goods in your storage. Our storage can have a limited reach. Support a limited amount of facilities. Okay. So we'll go ahead and build a storage facility right there for the fishing dock. Perfect. Already got people working at it. Producing fish. About 20 a minute. Let's change our town to Biscuit Town. That's appropriate. Now let's build a coal mine. Because yeah, we can only have so many residents. 
But we need to get coal, get the trains going, and our upkeep for wood is what we really need. So we, let's go ahead and get on that. Okay, so our first coal mine. Thankfully, not too far. Running a network of trains needs a lot of fuel to keep them chugging along. Build coal mines at coal deposits. Bring coal to warehouses and villages so our trains can refuel. Trains refuel automatically. Okay, that's nice. Got our first coal mine. Our coal storage, of course, sounds important. Put it all back in there. Now that. Wow, all kinds of supplies. Each village warehouse production facility needs station to transfer our goods. So there's our first station. And so our trains can go, of course, to each station. But if the platform's not big enough for the wagons, it's not going to matter anything. We'll be unable to use this station. So that said, I like to build pretty big, pretty big platforms almost right off the back. I mean, they cost almost nothing. They cost wealth, which we got plenty of that coming in. Go ahead and build our rails along there. So our wealth is laborers. Wow. So the more laborers we have, the better, basically. So that's exciting. Go us. Now then, with the coal, let's go ahead and build a station close to town here. Let's see, I wonder. house a house and a house I wonder if this road here I wonder if this is good enough for the station to cover everybody looks like it is that's awesome okay so we'll have our first station here first station right here in town at least <coughs> Excuse me. And now a station for the warehouse. Same deal. We need a lot of platforms. They're just long platforms. We'll go to 12. 12 length. The rail. Okay. Now then, how to connect... I'm trying to think here. So we obviously need to bring the coal here and here, but I think we'll take the coal first, bring it into town. We could almost have a loop that comes right here, but I almost want to keep everything pretty straightforward. So let's do one thing at a time. And let's bring our coal straight out to town. You know, I guess at the end of the day that works. A little long, but we'll take it. Now then, the train finishes up. We'll get everybody kind of moving back down. Okay, just I want to make sure we do this right. Because if we do this right, we won't have to make a whole lot of changes later on in the game. So I almost wonder if I should just double track it. But obviously it needs a place to go. So if we bring it in, bring it out. And honestly, I might just come straight out across and double track it right there. But then he needs to go here, but that's okay. Let's just keep going. Anyways, go ahead and branch it off. Bring it straight across. Wow. Way out here. We'll bring it right back. Big fan of the double track system. I played uh, Transport Fever 2. And of course, Factorio. You almost have to go double track. It just makes 
makes life and everything just that much simpler. So that will be easy. We got that track set up. So the workers at least can go to and from. But now I wonder with the warehouse. We can bring the coal. And stop there. Actually, that's pretty straightforward. If we already have the double tracks, it'll go. If we're bringing the coal train back, save on time. I wonder if we should have him loop. Or I don't really think we need the warehouse. What is th our warehouse? It doesn't really hold any. I mean, it holds stuff that we can use to build with, but it doesn't necessarily need to be used in town. So I'm thinking with our coal train, picks up the coal, comes down, he drops it off at the village. He maybe comes back in this loop. Comes down. Maybe he branches off right here. And we just have that simple, simple loop. And this other rail line we'll just save for use at a later date. I think that's what we're gonna do. So as he's coming back down, Branch right off. Come right this way. Of course, we'll go ahead and build that out. And I almost wonder, because it's going to be hard to kind of double, double loop the warehouse here. Especially because we're going to go ahead and do this. And build our next platform. That way we can go ahead and just be prepared. So I have in my mind, you know, where the next... Next track and trail is train, all that stuff. Train, blah, 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 blah. train's gonna be in everything. So with this, we have the coal coming into the warehouse, and the warehouse maybe up here we'll have to branch it off. I don't necessarily want to loop it back through, especially when it's just right there. So for now, I say the train finishes. It can just straight loop out. That's what we're going to do at first. And I guess we should go ahead and just connect these two, huh? I'll come through just like so. And now then. We'll change that if we must. There we go. And now we have successfully created our loop. Let's put up oh, a few signals. Signals separate rails into sections called the blocks. Signals help control our rails. We can give the tutorial a go. Thankfully, I've already done it. I would highly recommend doing it. In. And honestly, the thing that helped me the most was uh, the tutorial. But also, the... Excuse me. What well, YouTube videos? Watching the different YouTube videos always helps. Always can't go wrong. Cannot go wrong. But now then, we can let's really spread them out. So thankfully, this will automatically put in signals all through the track. It looks like our whole loop. Very exciting. There we go. Now then for this side now. Got them all put down as they come through. The intersections or the breakoffs is where it does get just a little tricky. But nothing we can't handle. Don't need to be too, too separated just yet. Of course, we don't want anyone blocking any intersections, so we'll do the chain signals. Yep, so these are both coming out. I like it. And honestly, let's go ahead and do that at this station as well, so I'm not too messed up. Oh, there we go. Okay. It looks like we obviously could build some more fuel storage, but. They do automatically hold stuff as well. 
So now, without further ado, let's get some trains running. So we'll go ahead and get our train depot. Train depot is where we'll build ourselves a fleet of trains to send to the world. You can build the train depot anywhere as long as trains are able to get out. To build a train, select the train depot and drag. Okay, easy enough, right? For simplicity, let's just go ahead and build it uh, this way. And honestly, I guess we'll go ahead and use all 100 of uh, the clay that we had. If that was a bad idea, we made the bad idea together. <laughs> okay, so the first train. Let's go ahead and just get our workers train. We're going to need a locomotive. And it is pretty far, so we'll go ahead and have just a coal tender and the wagon. That way they can bring the 40 workers out. Swap them out for the fresh guys and bring the tired workers home. So we'll have that. Go ahead and build. I guess we should go ahead and maybe make our routes first. That might help us. Coal workers. First stop, Biscuit Town. The second stop is going to be our coal mine. Swap workers until done. Swap workers until done. And that should be perfect. Now then, another route. Is our coal distribution. So our first destination is the coal mine. Then Biscuit Town. And then the warehouse. So he will load until done. Then he will unload until done. And then go to the warehouse and also unload until he's done. And he'll move right along. So we see the route to start. He's got to go all the way through. Of course, pick up the coal. Come through, drop it off into town. And come back, drop it off at the warehouse. Not, maybe not the prettiest loop, but you know what? It works. I guess we could have brought it, but I like the double track. I mean, that that's whatever. It works. It works. We're gonna make it work. Okay. Anyways, first one is our coal workers. Sent him out. Let's actually put a signal here. Add another train. A new one. This will be. What should we call this? Goods? I guess for now we'll call it coal. Well, we need to rename this train actually. Because I know he's on that route, but it'd be good to name it too. Now then. Actually, what if we just called it gondola? So same deal. We will have him, the, obviously the locomotive, the coal tender, just because it's a pretty long length. Don't need any passengers. Can't really have a flat wagon, so it doesn't even matter. So the gondola. So we can hold 50. So let's have it carry 200. I think that's perfect. We'll go ahead and build that. And we will put him in the coal distribution. And deploy. There we go. Coal distribution. There he goes. Ready to pick up. So that'll carry 200 coal everywhere he goes. Another train here. Oh, dear. That's... Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. He gets to go this way. Coming out with our workers. Dropping off the workers. Once they get some workers, there we go. There goes the other one train. So this train now is coming home to pick up some workers, some fresh workers. And here we go. Let's see if there's any coal. Not yet, or barely any. So he's got 12. Well, I say he's got a little more than 12. So coal mines producing plenty. 60 a minute. Looks like it's incrementing in fives. So that's exciting. So we have enough signals. Everybody can run the same route seamlessly here. And this train. Oh, I think you just dropped it off. Yep, they dropped off the coal there. Now here comes our train to pick up and swap the workers as they swap. Picking up the 40 and then dropped off the 40. 
So you can see the, oh, the negative number. So that means these boys are just tired. So they're, they need that rest. They're a long day at work. Now the next industry we have up is going to be the sawmill, which the more wood we have, the more houses we can build. So we like that. So the wood needs to be connected to the warehouse. Hopefully we can even bring it along the same route. So we had a sawmill. Sawmill put us good at what about building material. Fortunately, we just need a place to put it. So honestly, I really like, really like this. This could work out perfectly. We build a sawmill here. Works in the warehouse, so I like that. This is gonna be a great spot. Let's try to build a tree nursery up that way. Now we have wood storage. Okay, enough of that. Now then, we'll do the same deal. Station can only connect, yep, to a single production site, we know that. So let's get our station in. Go ahead and build our platform. That should be perfect. And then this station. So if this is our workers coming in. Oh, I hate that that's in the way. We could. We need to bring it down to connect right here. And we also need it to branch right up here. And the problem is, once they drop, come and drop the wood off, they come down, and then what? We're going to need the wood to have a chance to come back up this way. Ooh. Which I guess if we want them to stay on the same line, we could just break it off right here. It would definitely cost a lot less. There's no real upkeep or anything. So we'll just build another little break off rail and bring those trains right back home. So let's actually mess with our route a little bit. Actually, so if this is our co worker's train, I wonder. How do we upgrade? If we upgrade. Wait, we want. Maybe if we came here. Let's pick the workers. If we add another wagon to it, I wonder if we could just upgrade it. And if that'll add another wagon to it. I think so. Let's actually pause for a second. Okay. So coal slash woodworkers. And the route also needs to change. Coal slash wood. So we stopped at Biscuit Town. He's actually going to stop at the sawmill first. Stop at the sawmill, then the coal mine, then go back to town. Cold woodworkers, cold woodworkers. So he should stop in town, come right along, he would come down, he can stop here, branch off, and perfect. So now let's build some more signals. We don't really need one right there. <laughs> but I guess it'll do. There we go. So we 
should be bringing us hopefully some workers. 40 there. Another 40 there. Okay. Now. Flat wagon. The gondola. Does the gondola care? I don't even. Oh, let's remove. Let's remove. Nope. The flat wagons have to carry the wood. Okay. So we actually need to build a new preset. A flat wagon. Locomotive. Uh, does it really need a coal tender? I really don't think it does need a coal tender because it should be f f pretty close. So I like to do four, so that'll actually be, it can carry up to 200. Carry 50 a piece. I hope it is enough to get out there. At least has to get there, and it should be good. So we'll build it. And now then, let's give it a, give it a route. A new route. Wood. <laughs> sawmill to the warehouse. Where we'll load up at the sawmill, unload at the warehouse. And that's that wood. I guess we can maybe rename that. Wood distribution. Let's keep it simple. And I didn't put a tender on it because honestly, I mean, it's such a short route. Picks up the wood, comes in, drops it off, comes right back. And really, I don't know if it'll produce enough wood in the time it takes to go around. But in the off chance it does, we'll be happy we have the four. So, we'll see. We will see how that goes. Now then, back to town. Let's put down. Oh, does the station? Station does not reach those houses. It does not look like. Hate that. Put the tower there. Anyways. Put some more homes here, close to the station. Water tower there. Bring the road through. There we go, everybody's happy. Happy, happy, happy. Oh wow, the station does reach up there now, okay. <laughs> now we're gonna try to build out some laborers. Let's go ahead and speed things up. Let's see how everything's doing. Warehouses, plenty of coal. Wow, it really does. Trains need mule for more fuel to move efficiently. That's fine. He had a long journey to get out here. But he will fill up right here. Yep, he took his coal. Should be fine now. Should be all set. Sawmills up to 75, 80, 95, 95. So it looks like it'll get about 100. So we might have overdone this just a tad. But at the end of the day, I think it's all right. Let's slow it down. So we got 35, 35, 35, 35. Yeah, it should be that way. That's fine. Speed it back up. You see our wood. Way up. We can see our production is 60. Our upkeep's only 34, so we're almost doubling what we what we need, which is exciting. We can see all the folks running around town, having a grand old time down there. Let's go ahead and just build some more houses since we can. Okay. Just moving right on along. Let's see. We got plenty of coal. Yep. Can build a potato farm now. Let's see. A quarry. Potato farm. That's one of the needs. So let's go ahead and do that. I would say that is a hell of a start. Ooh, I like these blueprints. Oh, a simple station blueprint. Wow. Why well, I had no idea that was there. Look at that. We learn something new every day. Could have pop, popped it on right in. 
That's alright, though. Now we know. Okay. So last up, let's do a potato farm. Potato farms produce potatoes and feed workers. Give them that. Look at transport potatoes to a village that needs them. So the villages need to go straight to the village. So let's... I don't really want to build anything in the middle. Maybe let's build it right out here. That'd be fine. Build all your farms this way. Should be fine with that. It's a cool design. What can I say? Plenty of storage. We don't really need to do a simple station design for this. Should be fairly straightforward. Big station platform there. Now then, there's that. Now the exciting part is, we really can just bring it right out. Bring it down. Straight in. Now then. The other. There's that. So we do want to bring it over to be double tracked. So since I want it to come up this way, we will break it off right here after this signal. Because there's already a signal there. We'll just have it come straight across. There we go. Fix itself there. There's that. I'll just manually put down a few signals. It's no big deal. Should be totally fine. Shouldn't be too much traffic coming on up through there. So we need to get the workers out here, which the train will come into town. Actually, both trains will come into town. Come around, take this loop here, drop off, and go through. I kind of wonder if we should potatoes. We'll have you. Don't need a coal tender. I wonder if we could do the wagon and the box wagon to carry our potatoes. Carry a hundred. I wonder if we could do both at the same time. Well, we're going to find out. That's for damn sure. All right. We will build it. Now then, we want a new route. Potatoes. We'll just leave it at potatoes, I know. So we'll start. First stop is the town. Second stop, where it will swap workers. Fuel for passion enough for empty cargo for full cargo. That's interesting. Okay. Potato farm. That will swap workers. For fuller fuel for no passengers for full passenger load for empty cargo for full cargo. Okay, I don't know if we can do both. But we're definitely going to give it a go. Empty card, empty cargo at. Oh, I see. That's where I can change it. Okay, okay, okay. Now I, I see. So let's. So we go to Biscuit Town to swap workers and unload until done. And we go to the Potato Farm to swap workers and load. That should work. Put you in the potatoes route and deploy. Now this should be awfully interesting to see how this works. So we'll watch it. Come on into town, load up. So 
so we got our 40 passengers, our workers. Let's see how it goes. Moving right along. We stopped in at the potato farm. Still got plenty of fuel on this route. Now then, should pick up some more workers. No potatoes because they haven't produced any yet. We have just dropped off the workers, remember. Maybe they don't. Why well, take it back? Maybe we don't have enough laborers. Maybe that's what it is. I wonder if that's what it is. I have no idea. No idea. I don't want to cut off that end. Some houses there on the station line. Not more houses. We're doing fish wise, I wonder. Dropping off plenty of coal. Oh. Not enough work now. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Oh. Will we pick up any workers? It looks like it is. So we just picked up workers and then dropped, swapped out the workers, didn't he? Swap workers at Biscuit Town and then unload. Maybe that's what we have to do. Swamp workers allowed you swing in the city of village. Oh dear. So let's see what he does now. So here we go. Swapped in the workers. Keeping our workers. This time, instead of unloading them. Driving all the way around. Swapping the workers. Where they're producing potatoes. Or we did actually pick up a few potatoes as they just made them. Now then, we come back into Biscuit Town. Where we will unload and then swap workers, I guess. Look at that. We figured it out. We got it. Holy cow. Oh, riveting. Riveting stuff. Okay, now we're picking up potatoes. Looks like we learned our lessons. We're going to produce about 100 every time our train is able to get back. Now we can help this station actually as well. We can actually have it do that number right there. And then that way it should automatically know, hey, if you can't go this way, you can at least come this way. And we'll connect it. That just seems like we should have known that already. <laughs> Okay, there's not enough work for everybody, but that will be an issue for another time as that train picks up and gets ready to go. Biscuit Town, it's thriving, boys. We're new and hot on the block. It should be interesting. So I guess next episode, we will reach our laborers of 800 and not enough work. So that's definitely something we're going to have to take care of. Yeah, we're going to have to build some more stuff. Maybe... Uh, Probably another potato farm, I would imagine. That's my guess. Might even do another. Yeah, might do some more wood. Might do some more wood. So we'll uh, we'll see what uh, we can do moving forward. So definitely appreciate everybody hopping on, checking it out. Hope you guys enjoyed the first opening bit of Sweet Transit. But if you were gonna hop into this game and get started, this is exactly what you got to do to get started. You build your houses, some fish. Might even need to build some more fish as we've uh, grown in your first couple industries. Got our coal, wood, potatoes, and honestly, our clay is not too far behind. Not too far behind. It's only day three. We've done a lot. Well, gentlemen, again, appreciate the time. It's always good to see y'all, and I'm looking forward to the next episode. Thanks so much for tuning in.